Okay, today we're talking about this, my FX3 vlogging setup. Let's run through all the pieces and then you can tell me whether or not you think this is overkill for vlogging. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is Desmond. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make content for creatives that want to shoot better video and take better photos. And today we're talking about my vlogging setup. This is the FX3 and I am going to walk you through all the pieces that make up my daily vlog kit. First things first, this is my Sony FX3. This is my primary video camera. Normally I would be shooting a talking head style video like that on this, but I'm using my Sony R4 and I love this camera. It has changed up my workflow a ton since I got it both for talking head style videos, for content for work, content for YouTube, and vlogging. What I love about this camera is all the video centric features that came with it out of the box. So you've got these large record buttons that are great. The articulating screen, this flippy screen is my favorite thing. Uh, it is perfect for vlogging and any situation where you're in front of the camera. I'm a solo content creator. So I'm doing things for YouTube, doing things for work, doing things for family videos. So having a flippy screen is awesome. The next thing about this camera that probably looks a little bit different than some you've seen is I have a brand new Tilta camera cage on my FX3. So this came in only about a week or so ago and I love it. It lives on my camera now. I also didn't realize how much I would like this leather strap. Uh, I thought it looked kind of lame, but honestly it's pretty comfortable. And like I said, you can watch the review on this cage. The way I use my camera these days doesn't have to be ultra portable, honestly. I mean, it does a great job on a tripod. It does a great job on this little tripod that I'll talk about, but other things about this that make it awesome is the top handle. And I'll show you how I use that when I put the kit all together. All right, so next, let's just talk about the lens. This is the Sony 20 millimeter 1.8. I love this lens. This is my primary video lens when I'm not featuring it in front of the camera. Uh, I like the wide angle that I get with this. It's actually really perfect for vlogging because you can hold it out at arm's length. That's not necessarily my style of vlogging though, but the fact that this is ultra wide means I can place it down closer to me. I can get closer, still get really good audio and still get a good field of view on all the things that are happening behind me. I also love the bokeh that comes with the F 1.8. Creates a more cinematic vlog look, creates a more cinematic video look for everything that I shoot. Next, let's talk about the tripod that I use. I think a lot of people are going to ask, you know, why I don't use a Gorillapod, which is, I would say, the most popular one. I know a lot of vloggers and YouTubers are moving away from it because there are a couple issues, right? I have a Gorillapod. It's cool, but you know what? The biggest gripe is it just gets flimsy over time. I dread the idea of throwing my expensive FX3 or any of my cameras on this and it toppling over. I see that all the time in YouTube videos and vloggers are always talking about it when they're reviewing the Joby Gorillapods versus any other pod out there. Yes, you get the added benefit of being able to wrap it around things. I don't think people use that a lot, but the value of this pod is that, yeah, you can adjust height and you can adjust angles and uneven surfaces really easily, but I do not use this on my expensive cameras. I honestly just use this to hold up my ZV-1 as a webcam. So let's toss that aside. The tripod I do use though is this. This is the Ulanzi M11. What I love about this is it has all the benefits of the Joby Gorillapod without any of its weaknesses. So a few things, these legs open, but there is a hard stop on these legs, so they don't spread out and rip apart kind of like the Joby Gorillapod. But the nice thing is this titanium leg that's wrapped in a soft texturized rubber is incredibly sturdy and strong. So yes, easy to bend, but holds its shape really, really well. So you get that benefit from the Gorillapods, for example, right? But I can set this up in any position hook it on things, I can hold it, I can bend it. 
And the nice thing about it is it's it's really strong, it's really sturdy, and I actually trust my camera on this over the Gorillapod. Another thing that's really nice about this particular tripod is that it is thin. Again, with the Gorillapod, you've got those balls that give you that ability to flex and change. This is so much nicer. It's a titanium core and it's wrapped in rubber. So you get the flexibility, you get the strength, but you don't get all that bulk. This is actually really, really nice to hold in the hand. It's soft, it's comfortable, and you can toss this in a bag really easily. What I actually do with this is I fold this in half like this, and I can slide this into a sling bag, which is crazy, crazy. And it's so easy to just adjust back to normal. Another thing to talk about with this tripod, I don't use the tripod head that came with the M11. I ordered another Ulanzi tripod head. Uh, I'll drop the link in the description below, but what I like about this tripod head is that one, it's Arca Swiss compatible. My FX3 cage has an Arca Swiss compatible bottom rail, which means I can mount this to any type of Arca Swiss compatible tripod head, which is exactly what I have here. The other reason why I got this is because it has a cold shoe mount right here. I will show you why I use that and why I prefer to mount my shotgun mic to this versus to the body of the camera. It's got a great tripod head. Quick twist here, I can readjust it to any position I want and you've also got vertical adjustment. But let me throw the camera on here to give you a look. Okay, so. Here it is on the tripod. This thing is so solid. I really, really like the way this thing works. Another reason why I keep this top handle on with the tripod is because I can just pick it up like this, you know, and then get the tripod together. Honestly, I mean, we you see rigs out there where you've got the whole shotgun mic on top. This doesn't add any more size than the shotgun mount on top. And that kind of leads me to this point, right? I really like this tripod head because it's got the cold shoe mount. So I can put my Rode Video Mic NTG on here, plug it right into my camera. And now this is my vlogging setup. What I love about this is, again, I've got the top handle, I can pick it up, I can maneuver it. And when I'm not using it, I can simply take this off, unplug it, and I've got my camera in a perfect handheld position, right? It's ready for B-roll, it's ready to shoot, it's ready to move from different locations or to be mounted on a different tripod. I use the Peak Design travel tripod for a lot of talking head stuff. So when I need a larger tripod, I can simply disconnect it from this and put it onto my larger tripod. And that's a great thing about not having the audio mounted to my camera because now I get to use the top handle I've got my vlogging audio and tripod all together. And when I'm not using this and I'm ready to put it away, this actually swivels. So I could just stick this into a bag. I can put it away, stick it in the cabinet. And when I need it, I can pull it out, mount the camera on, plug this in, and it is literally ready to go, right? I can turn this up, put it down, and I can do really easy kind of run and gun vlog style videos. If I'm holding it in front of me like this, I can direct the mic where it needs to be. It's really easy, incredibly convenient. Okay, and then the last piece, let's just talk about the mic. I think you guys are probably familiar with this, but this is the Rode VideoMic NTG. I really like this microphone because of how easy and convenient it is to mount to the camera, the audio quality is incredible, and it has this intelligent cable that allows me to plug it into an iPhone, a laptop, or a camera, and it'll work all different ways. The other nice thing is you can connect this via USB-C to your laptop. Use this as onboard computer audio if you're recording voiceovers. This is a really versatile mic and I love using it as a vlog mic. I use it as my talking head mic. Honestly, this little setup here is more than you need to film any type of high-end video, not just vlogs. So that's why I love having it. And if I ever need to switch over to a talking head style video or if I want a bigger tripod, simply disconnect this setup 
and then mount it to my Peak Design travel tripod. I usually use audio off camera when I'm doing talking head style. I can actually just place this down. So now I've got a mic stand, just extend the cable to my camera and I'm ready to go. I love this setup. It's super versatile. Really, you could use this with any camera. So this is what I would recommend. This is the Ulanzi M11 with the Rode video mic and the Ulanzi Arca Swiss compatible tripod head with the cold shoe mount. All right, appreciate you all watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more content just like this, and I will see y'all in the next one.